Thank you for watching this video presentation. My name is Hiroaki Yoshida from Toyota Central R&D Labs, and I'm going to talk about cooperative control of large-scale traffic signals. Two years ago, we have started exploring the applications of quantum annealing machines in mobility services. And the topic that I'm going to talk about is actually one of our first results. The key point in this study is how we have modeled the traffic flow to be compatible with the, the Ising model or Kubo model to implement with the, the DV machine. But before jumping into the traffic signal program, I am going to mention the background of our research. I think all of the audience would agree with the fact that large-scale optimization programs are becoming important. For example, in the production process, before, it was sufficient to think about the combination of materials, factories, and products in a specific area. But today, we should take into account combinations all over the world. And autonomous vehicle technology is also emerging, and in the future, we will have to think about all the combination of paths of many, many cars in the city at the same time. Here we encounter two challenges to solve these large-scale optimization problems, the computational time and the energy consumption. As in this plot, in the case of combinatorial optimization problem with discrete variables, the computational time increases exponentially, while the optimization problem with continuous variables scales just linearly. The energy consumption is another serious issue for solving large-scale problems. The average power consumption of world supercomputer continuously increases. And it's obvious that it's a problem for solving the large-scale problems. Therefore, an alternative computational technique to the conventional von Neumann computer is seriously required. In this line, we started a project to research quantum annealing machine as one of such new computing platforms. The quantum annealing is a computational machine specialized to a certain class of combinatorial problems, and it exploits a quantum natural phenomena called uh, quantum fluctuation, which essentially enables simultaneous solution searches. And as everybody knows, it is rapidly attracting attention since the D-Wave machine was released and it is expected to solve the issue of computational time and the energy consumption. For example, one report shows that for a specific problem, the computational time was 100 million times shorter than a conventional computer. And the power consumption of quantum annealing is 1,000 times smaller than that of supercomputer. However, it is one big issue that the quantum annealing is limited to a certain class of optimization problem. In other words, an optimization problem that we want to solve needs to be transformed into a certain formulation that the quantum annealing machine can deal with, that is Ising model or Cubo model. To this end, we need to make reasonable approximations, and these approximations should not significantly reduce the accuracy of solution. Therefore, the main research focus is to find a good change of variables for transformation and to design good approximation to the original problem. Here we put special attention to iterative optimization problems in which we have to solve similar problems repeatedly as the state of the system condition changes in time. So the impact of using quantum annealing machine is significant because high speed and energy saving of the solver are very important. So far, we have explored three practical applications. The first one was the model predictive control problem which has applications for hybrid vehicle powertrain control and uh, autonomous vehicle path tracking and so on. And we also considered time series signal compression problem, which could appear in, for example, V2X communications. And today I'm not going to talk about these two topics, but uh, the results are reported in the 
recent paper here. And today's topic is the traffic flow control problem in which we try to, to determine the color of traffic signals with uh, taking into account all the information of the entire city. Normally, the color of traffic light is scheduled. That is, the color changes when certain time has passed. For example, the color changes every one minute. Although this simple control requires only a small computational cost, it is not optimal with respect to the flow of the vehicles. On the other hand, what has begun to be used recently is called adaptive control. This is a method in which each traffic light observes the surrounding traffic conditions and uh, they decide its own display according to the conditions. For example, when the number of cars waiting on one road exceeds a certain number, the display is switched in the, the opposite direction. And this kind of technique could be more efficient than classical one because it works adaptively depending on the surrounding condition. But uh, the global optimization of the entire city has not been achieved because it only relies on local information. The problem we are trying to address here is the, this global version of adaptive control. Here we consider not only a single traffic light, but also a group of traffic lights in the entire city in order to make smooth the traffic flow. But again, the size of the optimization problem is very large and it will be difficult to solve with a conventional computer. And our aim is to propose an optimization method using a quantum annealing machine and evaluate its performance. So the contribution of this study is that the, the global optimal control problem of the traffic light is transformed into a cubo formulation. And then it will be shown that this global control using D-Wave shows better performance in some parameter range. And then we also analyze the spatial correlation of traffic lights and the importance of cooperation is confirmed. And from now on, I'm going to show a little bit of detail of these results. This is the formulation of the basic problem, and now I'm going to introduce some notations for explanations. For simplicity, we consider a two-dimensional lattice-like rows arranged vertically and horizontally. And all vehicles running on the road have a certain probability of going straight, denoted by A. And otherwise, the, uh, the vehicles turn left or right. In addition, we assume two states of traffic light. In one state, a traffic light allows the vehicles to move only in the north to south direction, and in the other state, they move in the east to west direction. And if car move in the north to south direction, the value of sigma takes unity, one, and in the, the case of east to west direction, the value of sigma is minus one. Here I show the traffic flow model that is dynamical characteristic of moving cars on the road. The QIJ here is the number of cars that exist between intersection I and J. And this formula shows how the number of cars QIJ changes in time depending on the sigma, signal status sigma i and sigma j. And the variable s represents the direction of road from i to j, and the new parameter alpha here is defined as uh, 2a minus 1 in terms of the probability of a of going straight. And the next equation here is to define the evaluation function for the desirability of traffic lights. And this equation consists of two terms. So the first one is to reduce the bias of the flow of the car. And the second one is 
not to switch the signal too frequently. And here the new variable x appearing in the first term is uh, the sum of the number of cars qij around the, the intersection i. And this is how much the flow rate is uh, biased. And to summarize, the global optimal control is to find the value of sigma i that minimizes the variation function h under constraint of traffic flow model here. By transforming the variation function using these equations, it can be expressed like this formula. And here, the variation function includes uh, up to quadratic term for the variable sigma, and the sigma takes a binary value of minus one or one, and there is no constraint on itself. So this is exactly the Ising model and equivalently the Cubo model. And therefore, the quantum annealing machines like D-Wave can solve this optimal control problem. Here I show one typical result of solving transformed equation using the D wave machine. And we consider the traffic light in a 50 by 50 grid city. The computational procedure is to repeat the time stepping of the traffic flow model according to the signal state and to determine the, the color of light at the next time step by means of optimization using the quantum annealing machine. And this is an animation of the obtained result. And here each dot represents an intersection. And if the color is blue, the car moves in east-west direction. And if it is red, it moves in north-south direction. And now we can see that the quantum annealing machine can be used for global optimization problem. And now we have two natural questions. One is, what is the performance of the method compared to the existing method? And the other question is about the island of the same color observed here. And that is what is the correlation between the neighboring uh, traffic lights? To make comparison, we consider the local adaptive controls mentioned before. In the local case, when the flow bias exceeds a certain threshold, uh, the color of the light changes. And this animation is uh, the result of local control method. And we can see that uh, the signal switches more frequently, and uh, there are no islands that we saw in the previous slide. And looking at this plot of evaluation function, the performance of the the quantum annealing method improved the traffic flow about 10% uh, over the local control. This figure shows the average evaluation function versus the rate of alpha of cars going straight. The blue plot is the local control and the orange is the global control by using the simulated annealing. And the green is the global control by using the, the quantum annealing machine. And here, the simulated annealing is one of the classical methods uh, that performs uh, combinatorial optimization using the conventional computers. And when alpha is small, the performance of the three methods is almost the same. But when alpha is very large, the performance of the global control is uh, better than that of the local control. And when alpha is uh, 0 0.8 or higher, the method using quantum annealing machine is better than the simulated annealing method. Here we examine the second question, that is the size of the island created by the signal light. The horizontal axis is the distance away from a certain signal, and the vertical axis is uh, the correlation with the signal at that point. We see that for local control, the correlation with the neighboring signal is almost zero, and there is almost no correlation with surrounding signals. On the other hand, for global control, the correlation remains for distance to signals, 
And this suggests that uh, the group of signals should be cooperated uh, to ensure global optimality. And in summary, we formulated the global optimal control problem of traffic light uh, in terms of the, the Ising model or Cubo model. And uh, the result of solving the problem using the D-Wave machine was uh, better than the other existing method in some parameter range. And we also analyzed the, the correlation of traffic lights and clarified that the cooperation between the neighboring signal was uh, very important. And one of our future plans is to extend the method uh, to more realistic configuration of cities. And this work was uh, done in collaboration with Professor Aihara of University of Tokyo. And that is all of my talk, and thank you very much for your kind attention.